So, you want to install complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.21.4. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install both of the complementary shaders, complementary bound, as well as complementary reimagined. They're both a little bit different, but they're both pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, in order to install complementary shaders, we have to make sure we meet certain requirements. The first one is to just open regular Minecraft 1.21.4 and then just close it. This is done to create an instance of the game for later on for our shader loader to install to. The second requirement is to have Java 21 or JDK 21 installing our computer. The thing is that after the Minecraft update 1.20.5, you are now required to have Java 21 when installing mods, adding shaders, or making a server, stuff like that. And obviously, in this video, we're going to add shaders. So we're going to need Java 21. If you don't have Java 21 or you don't know what Java you have, just head over to your search bar down here and type add or remove programs, open that up. And then over here, where it says search apps, you're going to look for Java. In here, you're going to look at the version of Java that you have. As you can see, I have Java 21. It says right here, development kit 21. But if you don't have Java 21 or you don't have any Java at all, then you're going to have to get rid of your older Java's, which you could do just by uninstalling it. And if you need to reinstall any version of Java, we have a bunch of videos on that as well as guides on our website on how to do that. But you're going to have to get rid of your older Java's or if you don't have any Java at all, once you see that you have no Java in here, just click on the link in the description that says Java 21. And then over here, this is our guide on how to download and install Java 21. It's actually really simple. You just scroll down to download, click on Java 21. And then over here, just select JDK 21 select Windows, and then download the x64 installer, which is the middle one by clicking on this blue line here. And after that, you open the installer, hit next a couple of times on the installer, just like that, and you have Java 21 installed in your computer. And then after that, you are ready to add complementary shaders into Minecraft. The first thing that you need to know is that there are two different complementary shaders, complementary reimagine as well as complementary unbound. Now, complementary reimagine have this kind of cartoonish sky, as you can see here, they have that cartoonish look. And then complementary unbound have a realistic sky, as you can see in this photo here, but complementary unbound is the one that has the ores that are shiny. I'm going to leave both links in the description, reimagine as well as unbound. So if you only want to download one of them, just click on that link and follow the same steps. But if you want to download both, click on the one that says reimagine. Let's scroll down to step one in here. This is our guide on how to install reimagine. But if you just want to get it straight to the point, go to step one, hit download. And then over here, head over to files and then look for 1.21.4. As you can see, we have it right here. You're going to hit on these three dots right here and you're going to hit download file and after five seconds your download will begin for complementary shaders reimagine if you want to download complementary inbound it's the same process click on the link in the description that says complementary inbound head over to step number one click download head over to files select 1.21.4 hit on these three dots hit download file and the download will begin for complementary inbound. And while we wait for the shaders to download, if you need a Minecraft server, click on the first link in the description and get 25% off with Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting is by far the best way to play Minecraft with friends. And this is because it will actually let you create a Java server or a Bedrock server, whatever server type you want, that is hosted online so you don't have to worry about port forwarding or keeping your computer on to host a server. They also support over 200 mod packs that you can install with just a click of a button, as well as them having locations all around the world so your friends can complain about lagging when playing together. Something I personally about Apex hosting is that you could actually create the server and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you don't have to be at home or being on your computer to turn on your server, turn it off, kick people out, change the settings, whatever you want to do, you could do so through your phone. And if you use that first link in the description, you get 25% off with Apex hosting. Thank you, Apex hosting, for sponsoring this video. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, as we can see, both of our shaders downloaded and they're going to download as a zip file. Let's go ahead and drag and drop those zip files into our desktop and you don't have to unzip it. We're going to leave it as a zip file, both of them. Okay, very important that you don't zip those and now we have two zip files what's the next step well the next step is to have some type of shader loader in our computer if you have watched one of our videos on how to install either optifine or iris shaders then you're good all you have to do is add these shaders into your shader packs folder and you're done you could use complementary shaders when playing minecraft but i'm assuming most of you haven't installed any shader loader yet and you're going to need some type of shader loader to run these shaders i personally chose optifine for this video and the only reason i chose optifine is not because it's better than iris it's because it's a little bit faster to install. People have opinion on them. Some of them say Optifine is better and some people say that Iris is better. For me, it's up to you which one you prefer to use. But if you want to download the same one as me, Optifine, click on the link in the description that says Optifine. It's probably the fourth link. I sometimes get lost with all the links, but it's probably the fourth link in the description. It's going to say Optifine. Once over here, you can read through the guide, but if you want to get it straight to the point, scroll down to step one, click download Optifine here, and then over here, download the 1.21.4 version. If you don't see a download button right away below the 1.21.4 version, don't worry, just click where it says preview version in here and then download the most recent one, 
make sure it's the most recent number. As you can see, this is the one, number five, there's three and four. We're going to download the most recent one. But if you already see a download button, just go ahead and download through there. I'm actually going to click mirror. And the reason I'm going to click mirror is so we could skip the ads. And once over here, we're going to hit download one more time. And the download for the installer of Optifine will begin. Don't click anything else, guys. You're going to get a bunch of ads when downloading things. Don't click any ad, okay? If you're following along this video, you shouldn't have any issues. Now that the file downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. And now, since in the beginning of the video, we follow every requirement, we are ready to begin and get this done right away. Now that we have preview Optifine downloaded, make sure that your Minecraft launcher as well as your game is closed and just double click on it and the installer for Optifine will open. Over here, just hit install and the installation process is going to be quite fast. As you can see, it's already done. Hit OK. And now you could even delete that Optifine from your desktop because you don't need it anymore. Now open your Minecraft launcher. And if you install Optifine properly, when you open the Minecraft launcher, you should see Optifine selected here automatically. As you can see, in my case, it says Optifine 1.21.4 down here. And if yours doesn't say that, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that. Now it's time to add the shaders. Head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Without modded, you actually won't see Optifine here. So select modded and then you'll see Optifine here. If you still don't see Optifine, click on new installation and then just look for Optifine where it says versions. Select Optifine 1.21.4 and then name this whatever you want, like Apex Hosting, since in the first link in the description, they'll give you 25% off for your server. Anyways, once you find Optifine here, click install and you will see Optifine over here. Now to add the shaders, we can simply just launch the game. You using Optifine, of course. Hit play over here. You might get a prompt sometimes saying, are you sure you want to play modded Minecraft? Just click yes. And if you don't know what that is, just read through the player safety features. Now, once the game opens, we're going to add the shaders and it's actually quite simple. Let's go ahead and launch a world. It could be a single player or a multiplayer world because Optifine will work in both. Again, if you need a server, first link in the description, Apex Hosting gadget cover with 25% off. And once over here, as you can see, I already have some shaders loaded into the game, but your game is probably not going to have any shaders. Don't worry though, to add the shaders, simply press escape on your keyboard, head over to options, and then over here, click on video settings. Now you will see this shaders option down here, which you're going to click. And now you probably don't have any shaders over here, which is okay. All you have to do is click where it says shaders folder down here on the bottom left. And then over here, I'm assuming you're going to have an empty folder. It doesn't let me delete the shaders that I have in here because I'm using them in the game. But if I remove them from the game, it's going to let me delete those shaders from over here. There we go. You probably have an empty folder. What you're going to do in here is quite easy. You're just going to drag and drop your complementary shaders into here. Both of them, Unbound and Reimagine. Or if you only downloaded one, just go ahead and drag and drop one of them into here. Now, once you got the shaders over here, just close this folder, head back into the game, and then select which ones you want to use. You could use Reimagine. Let's just go ahead and give it a second for it to load. After you click, it's going to take a little bit. And then there we go. We have shaders in Minecraft. These are complementary Reimagine. Some beautiful shaders, a little bit more cartoonish than Unbound. And if you want to switch to the Unbound shaders, just press Escape, head over to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, and then select Unbound and give it a second for it to load. And there we go. We have complementary Unbound loaded. These ones are a little bit more realistic. You have that water in there and the sky as well, but they make the ores bright. Anyways, that is pretty much how to download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft 1.21.4. Something pretty cool that you could do with Optifine is just press C to zoom in from far away. So I don't know, that's a cool feature. But there you guys have it. I hope this video helped you out. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.